What's going on guys? Welcome to your 34th XHTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called an external style sheet and this is definitely the most helpful lesson that I taught you guys so far. So, so far if you only watch one tutorial make sure it's this one because it's going to make your life as a web designer so much easier. So anyways, wouldn't it be cool if we could have one set of styles, one set of rules that we can apply to our entire website no matter how many pages we have on it. So for example before, on this web page we would need to list all our styles. Turn paragraphs red, turn headers green, turn links orange, and then we go to this web page over here. Turn paragraphs red, turn headers green, turn links orange. And if we had like 500 different web pages then that would just be a pain in the rear end. So anyways, wouldn't it be easy if we could just say, all right, we have this one main outline of styles that we want to apply to our entire website, every single web page. So we just go ahead and type, use that style, use that style. It's a lot easier than trying to manage all those styles. And then say you have 500 pages and then you decide, you know what, instead of red paragraphs, I want blue paragraphs. Well, looks I'm looks like I'm gonna have to edit 5,000 pages instead you only have to go to one location change it and it edits the entire website for you so anyways let me go ahead and make a simple website um, in our body let's go ahead and add a header h1 h1 and just write like uh, this is the index page biatch no don't write that and anyways uh, go ahead and like add a paragraph my name is Perry the parrot I am a paragraph I don't see any typos do you? <laughs> and last but not least just go ahead and add a link href just go ahead and link this to your second page and click me I dare you to biatch nah you don't want to say that so anyways go ahead and uh, take a look at our index and actually you might as well do this just go ahead and copy this and on your other website or excuse me your other web page I always get those terms mixed up and um uh, actually a web page is the individual page your website is your collection of web pages so you know I get it mixed up but now you guys know so let's just go ahead and write this is the let's just write second page and this link can go to index.html and actually this one can go to second dot html so now what we have is a simple website with two web pages on it this is the main page and you click this and it takes you to the second page you click it again it takes you to the first page second back to the first second back to the first a second and a back to the first <laughs> yeah i'll stop doing that right now so anyways like i was saying and if we wanted to apply styles to each of these web pages, we can go ahead and we already know how to apply styles using CSS. So, so we can go ahead, throw those style tags in there and go make a rule for the heading, the paragraph, and the link. Then we can go over here, make a rule for the heading, the paragraph, and the link. But if we wanted to edit it, then we would need to go back, edit here, need to go back, edit here, here, then here. I'm getting a headache already just thinking about it. So let me show you guys a super easy way that's gonna, you know, it's going to fix your life forever. So don't even touch these files right now. Go ahead and click File, New, or you can just go ahead and click this button right here to get a new, and it's going to make you a new file. Now, here is where we're going to put all of our styles, but you don't need that style tag like that. The only thing you do, need to do is paste in all of the rules that you want. So for example, for our header one, let's just go ahead and make this green or something. Just make something noticeable that will stand out. Now for our paragraphs, um, let me just think of a couple things real quick. Font, family, Tahoma, I think that's how you spell it. I'm not sure. We'll see if it works. Um, color, red, and font size, 20 pixels. That's a nice round number. It's also my favorite number. Did you guys know that? 20. Nice little tidbit of information. All right, now let's go ahead and make all the links orange or something stupid. Color, orange. So now we have all these rules right here, but how do we tell our web pages that these are the rules that we want to use? Well, the first thing we need to do before we even think about doing that is go up to here, file, 
save as and we need to save this as a special file you can name it anything you want so I'm just gonna name mine donkey cuz why the heck or not and you need to save it as a CSS file and in order to do that go to the drop down menu and select CSS which stands for Casta cascading style sheet file or you can just type .css but you know who wants to type when you can just click buttons so go ahead and save this and now we have this special CSS file that has only rules in it. It has three rules about a heading, a paragraph, and a link. So now we need to go into our web pages and tell it that we want to use this file instead of, you know, styles. So in order to do that, and make sure that you don't put this in style tags, we don't need style tags any longer. What we do need is a special link tag and it's a single tag so you know there's no opening and closing and you need three attributes for this the first is this is either like relationship or relative or something anyways you put style sheet and that never changes so you know you don't even have to worry about what it means the next is what type of file you want to link to and that is actually called text slash CSS this never changes also so again we have two things that never change the last thing is href and the reference is what is the name of that document and in case you forgot it's donkey.css so donkey.css and make sure it's stored in the same folder as your index and your second white page are so now if we go ahead and save this and actually I could type this all again but I'm way too lazy so go ahead and paste this in the head right here and now instead of all those styles what it's going to do is say alright so you want to use a list of styles huh alright where are those styles in donkey CSS so every time this web page gets loaded it's gonna load all the rules in donkey CSS and apply them to these right here and every time index gets loaded it's gonna look at donkey CSS and it's gonna apply them to these right here so let's go ahead refresh this and see what we got now in our index our headers are green our paragraphs are to home a red 20 pixels and our links are orange pretty cool huh and we did this all using an external style sheet so let's go ahead second index second index check it out so now let's say we made a website and it now has like 5,000 different web pages on it and your boss comes in and he's like yeah you know all those headers instead of green I actually want those blue and he's thinking that he's kicking you in the butt making you hate your life because now you have to change a thousand different web pages but you know since you use external style sheets all you have to do is go in this one document and change that word green to blue now save this and check it out refresh refresh now all your web pages have blue headers so how much easier is that to manage than just a list of styles pretty cool huh so that is the beauty of an external style sheet how to use it and why it's so useful so anyways that's all I gotta say I was like gonna be rambling on about something else but that's basically all I gotta teach you so anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial super important one so anyways I'll see you in the next video and uh, if you get bored don't forget to check out my website so I'll see you guys later